she made a contact to a guy in, in, in Ontario, Canada, and I told her that's where he was at, and uh, she said, is he really there? Because she had done already talk to him. And I said, well, ask him. So she asked him, and he told her, he said, yeah, honey, he said, I've lived here most of my life, and and he just had the best old time of talking to her and everything else. And when she looked around me, she said, I'm talking to Canada, and eyes are as big as silver dollars. Yeah, Roger, that. Yeah, it's amazing when they get the, the whole picture about uh, amateur radio and uh, how you can talk around the world and meet all kinds of uh, interesting people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to turn it over to Chip, and uh, you and Chip talk for just a moment there, Jim, and, uh, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of another thing. It'll take me about three or four minutes or, well, maybe five at the outside most, and I should be uh, I should be done with that, and then I'll be back, uh, and we'll continue this. Chip, pick it up there for uh, about four or five minutes, and I'll be back. Uh, KE4 uh, WUP. Oh. Yeah, I believe I was keeping part of that there, Lynn, and I'm sorry about that. I was asking Jim, where is he located at? Uh, because I'm five miles southeast of Bowling Green, uh, little little community called Plano Community, and uh, I'm talking on an Icon Mark Two G with a with a dual band uh, X Comet uh, X fifty A about forty feet in the air. So uh, that gives you sight. And I've got a I've got a four element beam that's going to go up. I just ain't I ain't had time to go up. I'm thinking about going up with about a six or an eight element. Uh, it's a little bit longer, but hey, it's uh, it's a little bit more proficient. Roger, Roger. Yes, yeah, seven of it is what we run here, and we run uh, a bunch of them. Right now, I'm talking to you on uh, stack sevens, and um, on the Yazoo 2900. Uh, like I say, we have two, uh, stack sevens in the front, a, a ten element on the side. Those two are on rotors, and then uh, uh, some hand uh, uh, adjustable uh, targeting antennas in the back. They're all at the uh, twenty foot height. They're all at uh, 20 feet, and uh, like I say, I've got a like a moon dial or a sundial on uh, one of the antennas in the back, and it's got uh, a little pointer, and it's hooked to the uh, support mast. And as you turn the antenna, uh, the little pointer goes around, and I've uh, predestinated uh, certain uh, uh, locations, certain repeaters or cities, and so I don't have to, uh, you know. Uh, figure it all the time. It's just uh, put it, uh, put the pointer to the right place. But I do also uh, use a compass to uh, target uh, some of my uh, uh, locations. Roger. Deal. Good deal. And your TTH is where? I'm sorry. It's uh, New Albany, Indiana. We're about three miles west of Louisville. About three miles west of Louisville on the Indiana side of the Ohio River. My cousin lives in Avon, named Debbie. Uh, she lives in Avon, Indiana. And uh, I've been trying to get her into ham, and uh, the closest thing she can get to ham, she's, she likes doing the Facebook stuff. And I said, well, you would fall right in with Echo Link, because we've got an Echo Link station. I said, I said, all it requires is you to get your ticket, and you can get an antenna up, and, and uh, just go, you know, you can go Echo Link, or uh, you can even get a set of beams from up there and probably, probably hit when the conditions are just right. Yeah, Roger, I think Echo Link, all you have to be is an amateur. Uh, I mean, you can just go around the world on Echo Link. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, I uh, just got actually... Uh, got the Echolink uh, capability, uh, I guess, about a month ago. And uh, I had tried it about two years ago and gave up about halfway through getting it uh, assigned. And so when I went to, again this last time about a month ago, I was amazed to find that uh, all I had to do was just just uh, a very few things, and I was uh, already in. So, uh, And it's neat to, uh, say, run out of... Uh, you know, California is your three hours later than now, and uh, so if there's nobody up, even in California, you can go uh, Echo Link and start uh, the day off in uh, the UK or somewhere like that, Roger. 
as I was getting ready to take my test, I was thinking about the radio that I wanted. And this guy had a Drake uh, TR4C on the Internet that he was going to sell. And uh, he never got back with me, but I did uh, enjoy looking at that radio. And I was thinking, man, that's the radio I want. So I took my test and passed it. And as I was walking out, I just asked if anybody knew where I might be able to find the TR4C for sale. And one of the examiners said, uh, I'll make you a deal. You can't have shoes. I've got one I'll give to you. So <laughs> I got my, uh, passed my test and got my radio within five minutes. And I'm back. So <clears throat> that's a really good deal. That's, uh, I love it. Uh, I love it when people, uh, my wife's in the hobby. She's, uh, she's just a tech. I've been trying to get her to study. Of course, she's, she's had some ailments and she's got some problems right now. And I'm sort of taking it easy on her, but I'm going to help her study for her general, and we're going to get her to pass that general test. Uh, she's a tech now, and we talk on all the local repeaters and uh, simplex and stuff around here. Uh, her call sign is uh, W4SDK. Her name is uh, Sherry. Uh, she's, she loves to talk, but uh, at the present time, she's sort of kind of out of it. She's She's had some stuff come up uh, in the last few days, and I took her to the doctor yesterday, and uh, it seems like the medication that they give her is working, so hopefully it'll knock it out and get her back on her feet. Roger that. I'm getting uh, nine lights coming back from the repeater. My, I am pegged out on my receiver. Nine lights. It's outstanding. Yeah, and you get to hear uh, that uh, she's uh, feeling better there and. Uh, it's uh, good that you guys share a common hobby, uh, particularly when you go to ham fest and things like that. And uh, you know, you're ready to spend the money, and she's ready to spend the money. It makes it makes for a great situation. Well, actually, she's uh, I've kind of helped back, and she's like, "Well, honey, if you want to buy it, buy it. We've got the money. Buy it. We're not gonna. It's not gonna kill us if you to buy that little rig if you want to. It's just like this uh, Mark II G here." I talked to her for about two weeks on it, and she's like, well, she said, if we've got the money, buy it. She said, I'll be using it just as much as you will. And I said, uh, yes, ma'am, you're the boss. And I'm back, guys. Go on in here. Yeah, Jim, he, <laughs> he told you his neighbor's Bill. I can't get used to calling him Bill. I've known him as Chip for all of my life, but uh, or just about all of his life, because I'm older than he is, and, uh, and everything, so I can't get used to calling him Bill, so if I call him Chip, you know it's the same person. And oh, by the way, I just want to let you know all the reason why Sherry comes to him to ham fest so she can see me. Uh, I won't get in the middle of that one. Actually, that's probably about the truth of it, uh, Jim, uh, really. She likes to go and see. Uh, we had a young lady that uh, we did, and you might have talked to her several times uh, over the years. Her name was Alice Blair. Her call sign was WA4RRR, and she done a lot of packet and, and uh, HF and, and two meter and everything else. And bless her heart, she's passed away now. But her and about her and uh, and two or three others actually got me into this, but. Uh, got me into this way before she did, but when I met her, I met her 25, 26, well, it's been over 30-something years ago that I first met Sherry, and, uh, of course, we led separate lives for a long time, and then when I found out that she was single again, and I was single again, and she said, well, let's, uh, she said, what are you doing the rest of your life? And I said, being with you, and we've hit it off ever since. Go ahead there, uh, uh, Lynn. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, Jim, I said that. You said you weren't going to get into it. Right? Chip and I have known each other for years, and I do think a whole lot of, uh, whole lot of that little fella. He ain't so little. And Miss Sherry, she's a, she's a sweet person, I'll tell you that. I, and I go on with him all the time, you know, about, uh, about uh, you know, stuff like, uh, you know, she's no reason why she done that. She, you know, she's coming to see me, you know, which it may be true to it. I don't know, but I, I don't think so. I think it's just the fact that, uh, that when she does get 
get around, she knows she can pick on somebody else besides Kip because she's getting tired of picking on him. Yeah, Roger that. It's uh, it's amazing to uh, see folks at a ham fest. I mean, it, it, just so many different varieties of uh, humans <laughs> all sharing a common interest there. I was with this one guy that shelled out $1,700 for a power amp, uh, but he and he knew who built it and where it had been for the last six months and who sold it. And he had the whole uh, chain of command. He knew all about that amplifier. <laughs> I said, man, you are a, a, an addict. <laughs> he said, no, I'm a ham. Well, now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, and, and I'll get I'll get back to back to uh, uh, well, you called him Bill. I can't get used to calling him Bill, but Bill and 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 uh, and, and Sherry, they are good people. I think the world of them. And he just about like my brother, and she'd be about like my sister. You know, I just think the world of them. But uh, you know, it is good that they do have a common hobby and and. Uh, and, and everything, and it, it does work out like Chip said, you know, uh, uh, he went and got that radio, and uh, he got that radio, and uh, he can use it, and then when he's not using it, she can, so that's always a good thing. Uh, but you're talking about getting your, uh, 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 passing your test and getting your radio all there within five minutes. Uh, I already had all my stuff when uh, when I when I went 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 for my general class. I already had all the stuff uh, except for the antenna up. I had it, but I just didn't have it all, uh, up in the air at the time. And uh, and uh, I put that thing up and uh, and started right away. And that's been the best thing I've ever done. Uh, and uh, and and I will tell you a little story about Chip and I. I think I've known him ever since he was just a young boy. Uh, of course, I wasn't much more than a young boy myself, but uh, we've talked a lot of years over and had had about as much fun as any two people can have about uh, picking and having, a, having an enjoyment uh, of uh, being able to communicate and uh, uh, known each other for quite a while. <laughs> so he don't pay me no attention. He knows that, uh, he knows that my, uh, uh, my cut-up is my cut-up, and that's the way it is. But anyhow, back over to you, Chip. Uh, uh, Tim, even you can call me Chip. And the reason I'll tell you uh, this little story behind it. I started calling a local net up here in Glasgow on the 146.940, and a lot of them got confused on. Well, who is this? This guy says he's Chip, but when he gives out his call sign, it comes back to Bill. So. <laughs> A lot of them, a lot of them like Lynn, they know me as Chip, which is fine. And if you want to call me Chip, that's fine also. But when you look by, if you go to the QRZ, you will look me up. It will say Bill, Bill King, and it'll have my dress and my my QTH and everything right there and, and everything. So uh, a lot of people look me up and they says, "Well, now wait a minute, is this guy's imposter or, or what?" And I said, "I'm an impersonator." So don't worry about it. It's it's me. I said it's just a nickname. It is on my it, it is on my license. And uh, yeah, but uh, to get back to it, Jim, you can call me Chip if you'd like to. That's fine with me. A lot of them do, and a lot of my closest friends do call me that. Oh, you, Jim, N four A A V. Welcome to the K J four O G repeater. Roger, Chip. Uh, I just looked at the clock, and I'm past my uh, my allotted time here. <laughs> I have enjoyed it, and uh, it's always a pleasure uh, hooking up with uh, you guys down in that area. And uh, let me say threes to you. And uh, now that you're in my radio, I'll be uh, checking back in. So, uh, for right now, though, I'm going to have to jump out of here. So I'll say threes. Have yourself a good evening, and uh, have a good day tomorrow. And this will be KC9 VKV. I'll be on your phone. Hey Jim, it's nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you there. I don't know if I'm keeping with Lynn there, but uh, don't run off right just exactly yet. He wants to tell you something, and I'll let him go ahead and do it. Go ahead, Lynn. In for a seven three Jim. Well, I'll tell him uh, again. You know, uh, now that you said we were seeing your radio, yeah, I'll come back anytime you can, Jim. Be glad to have you in the. Uh, 
I'm sure there's a whole big bunch of them that will say hi to you when, when they're in here. They, they, they always do. Good, good bunch of people here. So uh, take care and I uh, hope you rest well and we'll be talking to you another again. Good night to you and I appreciate you coming uh, coming in with us and, uh, and do so as often as you possibly can because it's wide open to you. Good night to you. Good night, you guys. Three is KC9VK, be clear.